Well, Mount Juliet police are looking for two cunning and bold jewelry thieves, and you won't believe how they stole $200,000 worth of jewels. The heist happened in the overnight hours at the Prestige Pawn and Jewelry Shop on Bender's Ferry Road, just off Lebanon Pike. And as you can see, that's east of Mount Juliet Road, marked as 171 on the map. Well, Paige Hill went to the shop, talked to the owner, who told us how they got inside. Well, I'm angered. I'm disgusted. Naked displays and empty showcases are all that's left. Sunday, Nick Hendricks opened his prestige pawn and jewelry shop to find a quarter of his inventory gone. Unique and expensive jewelry that took him years to collect. It's taken 15 years. We're not talking about a few thousand dollars here. We're 368 pieces of jewelry mm -hmm. uh, that ranged from hundred dollar pieces on up to some that's almost twenty thousand dollar pieces. Luckily the shop's surveillance system caught everything on camera. First you see one suspect one by one picking out jewelry and then another one comes along to help. They filled up a trash can completely full with all the gold and silver that they could carry and mm -hmm. went straight back up to the ceiling the way they came in. You heard that right. The thieves came in through the ceiling. With the help of a saw they cut this hole. Now we're in the back of the pawn shop here because I want to show you how these thieves got in. We're going to walk over here and show you how easy it was for them to just climb up there on top of the roof. You can see the discoloration and the shingles from the old and the new. That's where the owner has already repaired that hole. See, it was pretty easy for them to get up there, saw that hole open, and then make their way inside. It just looked like two ninjas coming out of the out of the sky. I guess they kind of used our rack here where we keep our empty gun boxes to, to use as a ladder. Hendrix's alarm company told him he had the most sophisticated uh, system, but it was no match for this pair. The wires were cut seamlessly, and they were in. Very calm, in and out. They weren't big guys. It's uh, definitely Santa Claus wouldn't fit through there. In Mount Juliet, Paige Hill, Nashville News 2. Really hard to recognize the suspects on their surveillance video, but if you do, call Mount Juliet Police.